It's 4.30 in the morning, totally dark outside, and I'm going to spray some lacquer. Yes, you heard me. The infamous lacquer paint. Can't buy it, nobody will spray it, but for a 63 Corvette that's black, that's going to be NCRS Dentoff, it's the only way to go. So, <clears throat> I decided that I didn't want my phone to be ringing. I didn't want my other guys to be bothering me. And most importantly, I wanted it to be a consistent temperature. And it's been really, really hot these last couple of days, up into the 90s. And um, we needed to be about 70-ish um, so that the flash time and everything for the lacquer um, will be consistent. Because I'm going to be spraying eight coats, yes. I know, eight coats of lacquer. Um, and you guys are going to follow me through the whole entire process. So first we're going to start with the sealer coat of PPG DP90. And then followed up by the acrylic lacquer. Now lacquer, unlike modern paints, it hardens by the evaporation process. And it produces a gloss that is um, unmistakably lacquer. And then on top of that, if you don't polish it, it actually dulls up. And so this car, the 63 Corvette, is going to be judged on the paint standards. And so because we're going to use it, we're going to be spraying it with lacquer and it's going to have bare fiberglass behind the um, door hinges, we're trying to duplicate exactly what the factory had all the way down to having the proper red oxide primer um, and overspray in certain spots. And so by using lacquer, we'll be able to polish the outside in a manner that completely and accurately represents the way they would have done it in the factory. Uh, on top of that, we'll have the correct gloss level on all the door jams. And um, to get that, we need to spray it at a consistent temperature. And it just so happens that at 4.30 in the morning, it's 71 degrees. And I'm hoping that I'll have a good four hours of it staying approximately 71 degrees. So for the hardware, I'm going to be using my SATA Jet 3000 RP gun. Um, it's a technically it's an HVLP gun. And a lot of the old school guys out there are going to be like, "Oh no, you need to be using a siphon feed. You know, lacquer spray is better out of a siphon feed." But you know what? This gun atomizes really, really well, so I'm not going to have any problems with it. Um, first thing, I need to mix up the DP90, um, put throw it in the shaker here real quick and mix it up as a sealer. So in order to get it as a sealer, um, according to the instructions, you put, add in some reducer. So you reduce it with your DT870, which is just a base coat reducer. That way it'll cut the viscosity down and it'll actually spray like um, a base coat and we'll put one coat of sealer. It's a really good idea to use sealer, um, especially with lacquer. Um, you, prep, you prep the car the same um, as you would any normal car for lacquer. It's just you definitely want to use a sealer that's compatible with the lacquer and epoxy primer, um, or specifically our DP90, will do a great job of sealing everything off. Lacquer does some strange stuff. It um, it's very volatile and so you want to make sure that you take every precaution to keep it from reacting with the layers and the other paint products that you have underneath and so the sealer step is really important like um, you can see right there on the fender we've got a little spot where there's some fillers showing through 
and back here behind the door you know, we got a little primer spot and it's good it's it's a really good idea to get this car sealed up with the DP90 um, so that we don't have any issues with that stuff showing back or reacting with the lacquer because like I said lacquer does has a tendency to do some pretty strange things um, and so we want to make sure that we don't have any any issues with it now I'm going to show you guys one real one trick here a really a cool way to check how good your bodywork is like I, you can kind of see on this Corvette that it's uh, it's pretty shiny but a really cool trick is to actually just use wax and grease remover and spray it on and then do a quick wipe and it will it'll take a little while for it to to flash off but you can see it kind of like simulates a clear coat or a shiny surface and you can pick up on any ripples or anything like that. Um, it's a really good way to check, check your body work. Um, also, it's good to wipe the car down with wax and grease remover right before you spray it. day-old coffee here but I need to get the sealer sprayed because I need to wait about an hour for that sealer to harden up before I can safely spray the lacquer and when I mean safely um, I don't want the lacquer to react with any of the sealer coats or anything like that because it'll cause it'll do all kinds of weird stuff it'll cause make it go brain and curdle up and do all kinds of bad stuff so I'm gonna take the DX330 wax grease remover Wipe the car down and spread a booth coating. Now for a booth coating, um, there's a lot of different things you can use. I'm gonna just put booth coating on the floor. It's a 3M product. It uh, stops dust. It actually works really, really well.
the sealer sprayed out really nice. Um, one other thing that I'm going to mention that is kind of intuitive is that the sealer coat actually like sets the tone for how the rest of the car is going to spray. You, while you're spraying the sealer, you figure out exactly how you're going to move around the car. Um, and it'll like alert you of any areas that are uh, a problem like with the hose or how the gun angle goes or anything like that. And so it's really important to do the sealer coat um, for that reason if you're not a very experienced painter. Um, on top of that, it lets you know how it's going to look. And you're, you're still not past the point of no return because the sealer coat is just a primer. So if you really, really had to and you found a spot that was just terrible, um, then you could abort and uh, fix it. So now I'm going to clean the gun and wait uh, about 45 minutes to an hour, make some fresh coffee, and uh, then come back and we'll start the long, long process of spraying the lacquer.